Now let's take our document to the next level and insert some things in it. And we'll do that with the commands on the Insert tab. Let's start by adding a picture. To insert an object, you first click where you want to add it, and then choose what you want to add. Locate a picture, and click Insert. Word tries to move everything around to make the picture fit, but if it doesn't look right, you can change it. First, we have to get the picture down to size, and that's what these little handles around the border do. Click a corner handle, and then drag the mouse toward the center of the picture until it's about the right size. You can always change it later. Next, we'll want to determine how the text lines up with the picture. So click this button and check out your layout options. By default, this option is selected, in line with text. Click the other options to see what they do. Again, you can explore as much as you want without worrying. Let's try square. That means Word sort of liquefies the text so it flows around the picture. Now click the center of the picture and use these green guides to help you move the picture to align it with the margins and paragraph. Notice that when the picture is selected, you get a new tab on the ribbon. Click that tab and you get all kinds of interesting options for formatting your picture. For example, you can open the Picture Styles Gallery and choose a frame. We could spend hours trying new formatting options, but let's move on to Tables. Click where you want to insert the table, and then click Table. We have a number of different options, but I find the easiest way to add a table is to use this grid. Just move the mouse over these boxes until you get the number of rows and columns you're looking for. Then click. You can always add or remove rows or columns later. Next, click in each cell and add your text. To add formatting, hold the mouse over the table and this little box appears above the top left corner. Click the box and you select the table. Now you can use the mini toolbar or move up to the ribbon and check out the Table Tools tabs that appear when you select the table. Let's go to this Design tab, the one under Table Tools, and select a style from the Table Styles Gallery. Now if you want to add a row, hold the mouse over the border, and this bar with a plus sign in it appears. Just click the plus sign. You can do the same thing to add a column. There are many things you can insert and options for formatting them. But we're going to move on now and add a few finishing touches.